acrylic paint today and acrylic paint dries really fast. So first I start by watering down my canvas. This will keep the paint wet longer, which means I can blend for longer. First, I just kind of roughly put my colors on the canvas where I want them. Uh, it's a pretty thin coat, that's okay. And then with horizontal strokes, I start from the center, which is the lightest color, and I kind of just work my way out. This smooths the colors together. And as I do this, I also add more paint to thicken it up. You can do that at your own discretion. This is not the only way to blend. It's just a really easy way to blend acrylic paint. It honestly just takes some practice and getting used to. Paint in streaks of colors. You want the dark ones on the outside and the lighter ones on the middle. Then take a paper towel and you're going to smear the crap out of this. Your canvas should look kind of like this and your hands and everything else should look like a disaster. This also might have been my second attempt. The next step is the stars. I'm going to be showing you a really easy way to paint lavender. Start with some light green stem. Make these little knobs with some dark green. That's where the leaves come out. Add your leaves. Highlight them, of course. And you basically go purple polka dots. Start with a darker color and then work a lighter color over top. Honestly, couldn't be simpler. Here is part two of my tutorial on how to paint butterflies. I'm using pink, but that's totally up to you. This is just super satisfying. Now that you've got your base coat down, you can start adding some darker values where shadows naturally exist. Butterflies have kind of like these little cell shapes inside their wings that we want to replicate. Do that using highlights. By now it should look something like this. And now you can start filling in your black spots. I like to use black ink to line my wings. I'm just kind of drawing in like little abstracty shapes with the line. I just finished outlining everything with black ink. So for the shadows behind the butterfly, you want to mix up a color that's just darker than the background. And then you just want to go around the edges of the butterfly, adding in the darkness so it looks like shadows behind the wings. Several of you have asked how I get that center dot to be so rounded, so here's my secret. I just keep loading up that dot with a lot of extra paint. I don't push the tool all the way down, I just let the paint get pulled into the dot and it just slowly builds it up until you end up having a dot that looks like this. So my daughter, my beautiful baby girl of two years, just called me annoying. She's holding this container from Michael's of like Halloween ornaments, you know, those little like balls that you put on the Halloween tree, it looks like Christmas ornaments. And she says, open. I said, no, I'm not gonna open that for you. She goes, mm, annoying. I was like, what? She said, annoying. God help me, my, my two year old is already talking back to me and calling me annoying. I am in so much trouble, oh my God.